Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial on how to add ROMs, ISOs, GBA files to your Steam. Uh, this is a tutorial guide, and I don't. Uh, why I don't have my camera on is because I don't think I need it, and because it's well, very. Uh, I don't know, not needed for this tutorial. Anyway, uh, so to do this, you go into add a game, add a non Steam game. You go to, when you have this window up, you go to Browse, and you search for uh, the .exe of the emulator, or uh, the .exe of your game. So, uh, in today's <coughs> um, video we're gonna be uh, getting Final Fantasy X on Steam and get it to work. Uh, so yeah, uh, when you have uh, found uh, where your emulator's exe is uh, located, then you go into here, you copy paste this, and then you create a text document. We can. here and then we go ah my, my steam didn't uh, work there so but uh, yeah we go and create a text document and we name this whatever we want we can name this uh, one so we go into this file and then if I Remember, ah, yes, okay. So we put these parentheses on, then we copy paste this, and then uh, we copy this, and then go to pcx2.exe. After that, we're gonna end it with a parentheses. And then we make two of those little uh, strings and put no GUI. And we do this because um, the graphic user interface uh, mess up with the uh, with the launch of, of of the game when we finally launch the game. So that's yeah, that's it's very bad. Uh, and it won't work, so... Uh, then you go and... So this part is gonna find and uh, execute the emulator, while this other part that we're gonna paste in is for the uh, ISO, or ROM. So you locate your ROMs, wherever they are, and then you copy the path and you return to your text document uh, this and then you copy and paste and then you do this again you copy so we go down uh, the folders and then we have the ROM Yes, so when you're here, you can, uh, or when you've written this part, you can go to your ROMs, and here we have Final Fantasy, we're gonna copy the name, and like this, and then, most importantly, because Final Fantasy here is an ISO file, we type in .iso and then close parentheses and then this yeah this this should be it so when you've done that you save you copy this whole thing and then you 
go and get into this uh, file or uh, you go back to uh, browse you go into the emulators you find your emul emulator it wasn't here and um, you have to find the exe you can't do it with uh, with a uh, a uh, pathway or a shortcut I mean because that that doesn't work so you go into here you select your emulator now it's gonna show up and uh, add the thing and then you will have uh, this uh, pop into the ste into your steam so you go to properties you go to uh, goal here in the first line you replace this with your uh, with your text editor or uh, text document uh, what you've typed there uh, now this will start the PCX2 and it'll start the game <laughs> So if we click on play, it will start PCX2 and Final Fantasy X. As you can see, it works. Let me just see here. Yeah. Okay, so when that's done, uh, you're pretty much done. So for the next part is the customization of the <coughs> of uh, of your game if you want to. So uh, the first step will be to change the name here to. Final Fantasy X, and then this is gonna change the name here. Um, the next part is for the banner, the logo, and the icon here. So basically, the the rest of customization. So for this, you can go into SteamGridDB.com. I will link it in the description of. Uh, video uh, and then you can search for whatever game uh, you want or to to customize in uh, steam so first we're gonna have uh, grinds heroes logos and icons so uh, I'm gonna uh, download these and show you what they actually do in the steam customization so we take this uh, gr grid, we save it, we save it to, oh yeah, you also have to ha make a folder, you can make a folder in your documents tab uh, on uh, Steam custom artwork, and then you name it whatever, I name it grid eight, uh, 11, so I can uh, keep track of what I'm doing, so when that is uh, downloaded we can go back to Steam and then we click this button or uh, uh, yeah what, what we collect here and we drag it in to this ROM that I've created if you don't have one you can create it by clicking this button uh, but we go back here uh, now this is uh, the part where you add the the uh, grid. So you right click, you go to this panel, uh, Hantera, or yeah, uh, I don't remember it in English. Uh, and you go to the second option here, uh, which will uh, this window will pop up. And then you go and add your grid 11. 
Now this will not automatically uh, add it to your um, to your game. You'll have to close down Steam and open it again. And if we go to my something something and there we have it the grid is uh, complete now you click on uh, this click on your game and now we are going back and we're gonna add a hero now this is a background <laughs> so you can choose whichever you like here uh, where you can search it up on the internet doesn't really matter but the size needs to be the same for this to work. So let's um, let's take this for example. We're gonna save it and actually no I think this I think this one is better. I like that. I like that one. Uh, and we're gonna name it a hero 11. We save it and it's a, G, a JPG. We go and right click. Uh, we uh, change the background here. And we go to the hero. And there you can see uh, we have changed the background. Now for the next thing, that is the logo. <laughs> now for this, I just need to search up the Final Fantasy Ten logo, so I don't like get it wrong. Okay, th it is this. I see. I think I like this one better. It's more stylized. Yeah. So you save it. And you name it logo whatever 11. Now with that downloaded you can go and change the logo and select it and boom there you have it the logo. Uh, the last part is for the uh, icon so we're going back here, going to icons, we download this too. But this we do not we do not put here. This you put into a folder here in your OS. And there have to oh yeah, you can just make it uh, name it like ICO files or something. Uh, and paste it here. You're gonna know uh, why I put it here instead of like on the other thing here. So when you click on icon, this will show up. Uh, now this can't go out of the OS, so you'll have to. That's that's why like you have to uh, uh, make your uh, icons on the on your uh, uh, drive, you can't make it outside because the st or because Steam won't uh, go 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 out of the uh, the drive. So we go up until we uh, now I've gone too much uh, too far up. Uh, we go up until we reach this. And then we look at ICO files, and there's nothing. Well, wait. Here we have. Here we can change to image files, and here we go. Here is the the PNGs. We click on icon nine, uh, and there we go. The icon have changed here. So yeah, that's that's basically it. So if we play the game. It will run 
as it uh, normally would. Here Steam is detecting the game. And if we press Shift and Tab, you can see I play Final Fantasy X and the rest here. So you can actually chat with your friends while playing uh, this, because Steam will run it to the emulator and to the game. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, goodbye, see you in the next video.